So you got a girl that you think might be interested in you. She's showing you signs. She's giving you a little bit more attention. She's looking at you head on and you're feeling it, but you're having trouble sealing the deal. I know what that's like. I've been there before. I wanna help get you guys past it. So stay to the end of the video where I'm gonna teach you guys how to take initiative in these situations so that you don't keep shooting yourself in the foot and letting girls go who are giving you open invitations. Now, before we start this video, I wanna talk a little bit about overthinking and overanalyzing a situation. Essentially, you're getting in your own way, right? And we all do it. A girl might be giving us the vibe, she might be giving us the time of day, she might be giving us a little more energy than most girls give you. But for some reason, your mind loves to overanalyze what's going on and it'll talk you out of the belief that she's actually into you when she clearly is. Nothing worse than that. So let's talk about it. I'll tell you this, you're getting in your own way. We all do it. When we get in our own way, we shoot ourselves in the foot. The overthinking, the overanalyzing the situation. Think about the kind of guy who doesn't overthink and he just takes initiative. Whether he's right or wrong about a girl giving him attraction or, or showing interest in him, right? What kind of things would he do? Right, he'd probably go and grab the hand or go for the kiss or make plans to see her again. Like let, hit, let her know that, yo, look, let's go out, we should go do this, right? and be very open about it. Now, when your thoughts are taking over and they're making you doubt what you're seeing, clearly it's all downhill from there because any attraction that you're actually really getting from the girl, in some way, shape or fashion, you'll find a way to sabotage it. No different from what I was doing. I knew girls were interested or they were showing me some sort of interest, but a part of my belief system really couldn't let that in. And so since I couldn't let that in, I can never actually act on it. And since I couldn't act on it, I couldn't get the results that I wanted, right? So there I was, girl interested in me, I can't pull the trigger, nothing comes of it, right? What a waste. And I know a lot of you guys are in that situation. I hear from clients constantly, okay? So what I wanna teach you guys is how to get out of your own way, how to stop overanalyzing, how to be the guy who just really goes off feeling an intuition that will make you way more attractive. That will get you to seal the deal on those situations. And sure, maybe you might not get 100% of them. That's fine. But what you will get is a lot better results than you have right now, okay? So anyways, before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider hitting like and subscribe so that you guys don't miss opportunities to catch our updates because we're always jam packing them with information to help you guys level up and become better at dating, okay? So hit that like and subscribe, hit the notification bell too, and we'll see you in the next video. Now on to the main part here, how to take initiative, how to be that guy who shows up and goes for it no matter what. And I'll give you the key right away. The key is this, lean in to the rejection, right? Lean into the rejection. Now let's talk about how to become the kind of guy who takes initiative if you're not that kind of guy now. And it may feel like it may feel like it's pulling teeth sometimes in order to do it. But like with anything, repetition makes content, right? You'll start to feel more confident in doing it the more you do it. So I'll tell you this, the crux of all of it is start leaning in to the rejection little by little. Is there rejection that's going to occur? Probably not. Probably not real hardcore rejection, right? But the mind likes to create scenarios where you will. The mind likes to create scenarios where you're getting rejected. So whether or not the girl is really interested in you or she's showing you all this all this extra tension, she's being girly and feminine for you, your mind is still going to get in the way. It wants to keep you safe, okay? When it's doing that, there's always the potential of rejection just based on the fact that it's doing that. It wouldn't do that if it didn't feel that there was a potential for danger, right? And in this case, the danger is 
if I do this, if I take this action right now in this moment, something bad's going to happen, right? I'm going to get in trouble. She's going to reject me. Something like that's going to come up for you. So you got to beat it before it gets you. And the way to do that is lean into the potential for rejection. Do it little by little, right? Little by little. Get used to it. You need to change your relationship to rejection and what it means to you. The more that you're avoiding and the more that you run from rejection, the more your life is going to stay stagnant. The more your dating life is going to stay stagnant. The more you're just going to be leaving opportunities on the table that other guys are going to pick up and take advantage of. The more you run from rejection, the harder it's going to be for you to make traction in this area. So you've got to take steps towards rejection, even if it's tippy toeing your way into it, so that you can change your relationship to it. You want rejection to feel fun. You want it to not hurt you. You want it to not affect you in that negative way where it takes you out emotionally, it drains you, or, 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 or it makes you feel like you're not good enough, right? And in order to take the power out of it, you have to play within the range of rejection. And you're not going to get there by avoiding it. You can't avoid rejection and be good with rejection. It just doesn't work that way. Like with anything you're working at getting better at, you have to play the game. You have to be face-to-face -face with it in order to grow in relation to it. Okay? So some ways for you to get better with taking initiative is to actually take initiative. Right? <laughs> Who would have thought? Now, ways to do that. I know what this feels like when you're with a girl and you're thinking and you're all in your head and you're like, I should be grabbing the hand. I should be going for the kiss. I should be doing this. Take small steps in that direction. When you're with a girl and you think she might be into you or you have a strong hunch that she's into you or she's curious about you, reach out for the hand, grab the hand, touch the hand, right? Test the waters, slowly lean into the, slowly lean, in, and I say rejection, for this, your mind thinks it's rejection. Realistically, you're probably not gonna get rejected. But as long as your mind thinks it, to you, the battle is going to be you in rejection, okay? So lean in, touch a hand, grab a hand, sit closer to her, go for the kiss. I know that sounds very frightening. Go for the kiss because there's so much you can learn from going for it and potentially getting rejected so much more than you would ever learn if you didn't do it at all. And you might even learn in there that if you go for the kiss and let's say she doesn't kiss you back or she pulls away, maybe 10, 20 minutes later, she doesn't pull away. And that's very common. It happens a lot. It takes time sometimes, okay? So I want you guys to really get good at being the guy who takes initiative because there's nothing worse than leaving all that stuff on the table, right? Especially when it's just being catered to you a lot of the times. And there's nothing worse than really disappointing a girl who's interested in you in that way by not showing up and leading and taking the initiative. I can't tell you how many times I've heard women say they get frustrated with men for not leaning in and kissing them or holding their hand when they're on the date because you guys gotta remember, women work in the subtle. Men are more blatant and straightforward, that's the masculine. Women are more subtle, right? So their signs are not gonna be as clear for everybody. I think it said like every one in three guys can read women's signal, or maybe something even smaller than that, like a smaller ratio, right? And that says a whole lot about us as a culture. So the better you can actually get with becoming a dude who can see those signals as subtle as they are, you've already got the edge on everybody else, okay? And the, and the way to practice that is to lean into the rejection, take small risk, take small risk you will be rewarded for taking these small risks, I guarantee you, but you've gotta do the little work back there, okay? If you guys are not certain that if the girl that you're with is giving you signals, or if you are in your head about it and you're not sure, go back and watch Brian's videos. He's got two of them. He's got one called, Are You Rejecting Women Without Realizing It? Go back and watch that video, but also go back and watch the video where he talks about, the title of the video is, women are constantly giving you subtle signs or subtle signals. Go back and watch those two videos. Those will really bring you up to speed on how subtle women are in their flirting or in their signals that they're giving you to let you know that, hey, I'm interested or I'm giving you signs. The more you guys can master that stuff, you guys can see as soon as it's happening and then take advantage of it. 
All right, guys, I will see you guys in next week's video. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.